I have always dreamed of going to Mag Bay, but due to its remote location, it's always been kind of a fantasy. This is a place where a boat could easily catch over 100 marlin in a single day. This dream fishing trip turned into a reality when my buddy Anthony Shea invited us to join his fleet bad company in Mexico. So we hopped onto Anthony's private jet and flew to Loreto, Mexico. From there, we traveled across the peninsula to San Carlos, where we got on a panga to get to Bad Company's 60-foot Viking. The Viking transported us to our final destination, Bad Company's 144-foot mothership, the largest sport fishing vessel ever built. On the following morning, we headed offshore on the 92 Jones, searching for striped marlin. Right now what we're doing is we're driving around the Pacific Ocean looking for piles of frigate birds. And underneath the frigate birds, there's a bait ball and that's where we're finding the striped marlin. You can see these drone footage right here. They kind of get the baits go all tight and then they come in for a launch and try to grab one. And when we get on those fish, they're so aggressive. Basically anything we throw at them, they're gonna eat it. <laughs> Anthony's got the first cast. Oh yeah, the fish busting right there. Nice cast, Anthony. Nice cast. Oh my god, they're busting right there. It's at one o'clock. You see the breezers, Josh. Hooked up. Anthony's hooked up. Here we go. Fish on. Go, Guys, Steve's baby. gonna get one in now. Watch this. Ready? Here's his cast. I'm gonna back him up. Ready? Oh, he's gonna he get the guaranteed Atta fish. Boy, guaranteed. Oh. Triple up. Triple up. Concentrate, Steve. You got this. Look at his run. Hey, they're still busting up there. Look at that. Oh my god. Oh, he's jumping. He's jumping. What's up, Steve O? Whoa, there he goes. Yeah, we're getting close to the leader. I'm gonna pop him off right here. Boom. Roll him. Yeah. Boom. Done. Very First nice fish job, of the day. Awesome. Very nice job, boys. Good job. How many fish are we hooking right there, Anthony? I think we hooked five. Oh, there's so many marlin right there, bro. Hold on, I'll put you right on them. Right at 12 o'clock, guys, just get it in the water as quick as you can. There's a million striped marlin. Watch how fast we can hook a marlin. Watch this, ready? I'm gonna fish on in 10 seconds, ready? Oh, he's already on. There we go, fish on. <laughs> it doesn't get any better than that. Oh my gosh! Are you kidding me? He's gonna jump, watch this! No, we got the same fish. No way. We got the same fish. We got the same, same fish. fish? <laughs> Get out of here. We got the same fish. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna bust it off. That's crazy. How often does that happen? A lot. Free swimming right there. Oh my gosh, right there, guys. Right there, right there. This is number two today. There's still fish busting in front at one o'clock. Oh my gosh, look at the bait ball, look at the bait ball. This is a real bait ball. Oh! You see that? You ready? Come on, buddy. You ready, man? You got this. Is there, you want me to like feed you grapes? No, or <laughs> just throw it out. I'll what, what, do you, what do you need? Just get it away from the boat. Just get away? <laughs> just get it away from the boat. All right, now I'll do it. <laughs> He's jumping, he's jumping, but he's saying he's jumping, he's jumping, he's jumping, he's jumping right there. Every time he's in the air, every time he's in the air, pull in. Come on, buddy, you got this. Oh, man, that's going to be great. Come on, keep going, keep going, he's jumping. He's so close! Let's go! Let's go! Come on, Leonard, get him! Let's go! Get him, Leonard, get him! Redemption, let's go! Come on. Come back. Come on, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it, bring it. There we go. Okay, watch. I'm gonna tease them in. Ready? Here, I'm gonna make sure I got a tough one. Uh -oh. It's all straight up and down. That's the one we want. I need a baby. I need a baby. There he is. He's jumping. Woo! It is your cameo, man. Gone. All right, I'm on film already. I'm done. No. I'm go inside. Not already. <laughs> Popped. Anthony, how long have you been coming to Mag Bay for? Since the 90s. Has it always been this good? 
It has always been this good. It's actually uh, been a little bit more inconsistent in recent years, but it's been it's been excellent. Keep in mind that this area is only uh, less than 600 nautical miles from our home court, which is San Diego, California. So although it seems exotic, it's not that far. It's completely reachable, yeah. These are the magical baits. Anthony and I are going to cast. You're going to watch this real time, how long it takes to catch a strike marlin in Meg Bay. Watch. Get yep. Fish on, I'm, I'm already hooked up. Woo! Let's go, boys! Oh. <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. You can't get better fishing than that. No way. Anthony's hooked up too. Doubled up on Marlon. Okay. Let's go! It's on! Let's go! Okay. Woo! Here we go. Here we go. Come on, baby. I'm on. Vamos, brinca! Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yeah. This isn't the cameo, by the way, which you already saw. Oh, okay. <laughs> Come on! Let's go! Woo! Oh! Woo! Get it in the water! I'm Steve Lastly, and I've uh, been running the boat bag company here for about 18 years. Been fishing around Mag Bay here for about 40. Pulling up to a pretty good bait ball here right now with a lot of striped marlin on it. Uh, typically when we're fishing here, this is what we want to see. We want to be seeing all these bird piles with uh, sardines or mackerel on them. We prefer to fish with live bait and cast and actually present the bait to a fish versus trolled for it. Anthony has a superstar crew here. Every time we pop the leader, his mates are right there tying hooks on, getting ready for the next fish. That's how he managed to catch over 300 fish in one day. They were tying hooks. They had to get two guys, I think he said, tying hooks full time, they were just casting fish, popping off within 30 feet, and going again and again and again. Pretty pretty wild operation they got here. Seriously, how many fish have we already hooked so far? I don't know. LSA, how many hooks have we used? A hundred something. Over a hundred hooks already? Oh, way over. Oh my gosh, we've already uh, hooked over a hundred marlin, and we've been fishing for less than on, probably right four on, hours. Yeah, Josh, people start dividing yeah, 330 to the number of uh, oh, seconds that it takes for us to catch a fish. Once you get on the boat and see our technique and see how this boat performs, and see how Lasley maneuvers this boat to constantly have us as a chance to hook something and catch something, it's all day long. The biggest problem is bait capacity. Yep. The fishing is so good here, you literally cast the line out, put it in free spool, count to 10, and you have a marlin on. It's unbelievable. Oh, look at that beautiful jump, Leonard. Let's go. That was pretty. That was pretty. When things are really on for May, you can see multiple bird schools and multiple bait schools. This year is a little, uh, little less than bait volume. Is there anywhere else in the world where we can go and hook this many striped marlin in a day? You know, I mean, obviously, striped marlin is only in the Pacific. Yeah. And as uh, far as I know, in the Pacific, you don't have this kind of volume. And these fish, uh, our, our belief is that these fish are not the same fish that are in Cabo San Lucas, only 160 nautical miles from here. So we catch them in Cabo, we catch them in Southern California. We, we believe this is a different string of fish. And we think they, once they get done eating here, they go pretty much straight out. Oh my gosh, here it is. There it is. Here we go. Ready? We're going to double up right now. Nice cast, Josh. Into the, into the wind's not easy. Okay, watch. I'm going to tease them in. Here we go. 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 Okay, you can have it. You can have it. If you say please. Oh my gosh, there's dudes that are airing out. Look at that. Anthony's hooked up. Oh my gosh. Oh, it's a big one! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Oh, boy! Oh, Keep jumping, baby. Keep jumping. Keep jumping. Woo! That was crazy, dude. Fresh bait, guys. Look at that. Here we go. We're going to double up again with him. You guys noticed? The bait school is getting smaller and smaller, getting all inhaled. The next half hour will be completely gone. Hey, you want it? You want it? You want it? 
here, right here, right here, right here. Come here, come here. There you go, you got it. Good boy, good boy. Now I'm gonna hook you. I got you. Now I want you to do one jump for us, and then we're good. Ready? Come here. One jump, one jump. Come on, come on. One jump. Yes. Woo! That's as good as it gets right there. One jump. Eat beside the boat. Pop them off. Catch a fish. No bite, Steve. No. We get close enough to the bait log, we can do that. Oh my god! There you go. There you go. I mean, look at that. He's washing the car, baby. Hey, Keep going. Wax on, wax off. Wax on, wax off. Come on. Whoa. Hey. You got him. Oh, snap. That's so crazy. I mean, seriously, they're like little pants of her feet in the right beside the boat. Why don't we try this? Everybody go to the back. Right now we're letting out the teasers. It's for the next hookup. No, no, he's hot on the teaser. He's got the teaser, he's got the teaser. There you go, he took it. Woo! How long have you known Steve for, Anthony? A few years. Steve, why don't you let everybody know of your credentials? So my name's Steve Stillings. I'm a 24-year Air Force veteran retiree. Wow, um, awesome. I was Explosive Ordnance Disposal or Bomb Squad. Uh, five combat tours, three Bronze Stars. No way. All that stuff. Um, still with the TBI, PTSD, everything. No physical injuries, all inside. Um, I met Anthony through War Heroes on Water, what, four years ago? part of the initial rollout and we fished been fishing every year since oh, he's jumping, he's jumping. so I was taking these guys fishing in Cabo one time and then I discovered what two jewels these guys are they're they're really the the brave and and why we all live great lives is because of all the the bravery these guys do No way. Good job, bro. All right. Woo! We just started to figure out maybe we can organize something that's a little bit more um, formal. And then four years ago, we started War Heroes on Water, a nonprofit. And we just finished our fourth year, our biggest year yet. Even going through COVID, last year we uh, we're very proud because we uh, generated $1.4 million in donations for the Freedom Alliance, which is our uh, our partner. And we ended up taking out 100 vets out this year on 38 donated yachts. So not only has it brought um, the community together, but we're able to, to meet wonderful folks like Steve. And many of them have become my personal friends. Hey, how many miles have you caught on this trip, Steve? I would, at least 30. <laughs> At least 30 in one sailfish. And we gotta, you know, I mean, the heavy topic is we lose a lot of these guys after combat, after battle. You know, they come back into society and their perfect purpose to defend this country has now been removed. And uh, we've taken them from their brothers and sisters that they're fighting with and all of a sudden they come back into society and it's a tough transition. And I think the private sector, whatever we can do to try to help them transition a, a bit better, uh, I think it would be helpful. All of us as Americans, we can work together in harmony and between private citizens and you know guys like Steve, uh, I think it would be very much appreciated from, from these guys. It's a huge sacrifice, and then of course there's the ultimate sacrifice. And we just all have to 
we just all have to kind of think about it and appreciate what they do for us. And I think that's all they want is they just want to be recognized. Yeah. You know, combat veterans out there, if you're interested in coming out and, and fishing with us, you know, please let us know. Get on the website or tell a friend. These guys are just amazing, amazing Americans. And there's no doubt we're the best country in the world and there's no close second. And there's a reason for it. And the reason is these guys go out and they're selfless. They're all about the country. They have perfect purpose, which is to defend our country. Um, so I appreciate that. And I love you, man. Love you too. Woo! Thanks again for inviting us, bro. Two days. What is it? What is the total fish count? 300 plus? Uh, I, I, I added up for the week. It was uh, about 425. Wow. Yeah. Guys, we absolutely crushed it. You know what? Until you see it in person, you will not believe it. I'm sure you saw this video. It's unbelievable how many fish we caught. I can't thank Anthony enough. Make sure you go and give him a follow. Bad company fishing adventures go check it out and hero um, war heroes on water that's it that's his thing he does for veterans with like a guy like steve you saw in the video go check that out guys this guy is an amazing person he loves fishing more i don't know who loves fishing more me or you it's pretty incredible dude. Yeah, i i gotta i gotta give a plug for this guy right here i you know this is the first time we fished together yeah he got in the front of the bow west coast style and started flinging baits i looked at, up at my, my captain steve and said hey this guy actually knows how to fish, so <laughs> right on, Thanks, man. man. It's been a pleasure it. fishing with you. Dude, I can't wait to the next adventure, man. It should be fun. All right, guys, go follow Anthony. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next All time. All right, thank you.